You have taught me that two people joined together with respect, trust, and open communication can be far stronger and happier than each could ever be alone. Through all of the uncertainties and trials of the present and future, I promise to be faithful to you and love you. I promise to guide and protect you for as long as we both shall live. Today, I am making the easiest decision of my life. I choose you and I will continue to choose you over and over again. I promise to always date you and do the small things that make you happy. I promise to never keep score, even when I'm clearly winning. May the force be with us as we travel through the galaxy of life. Bailey, you have been my best friend, guide, person I can confide in, and my greatest challenge. But most importantly, the love of my life. You make me happier than I ever imagined, even while driving me crazy. You have truly made me a better person and helped me improve every day. I am thankful for you to have come into our lives. You have helped me raise my children as your own, which I am forever grateful. From this day forward, I vow to put you and your needs as a priority in my life, to love you unconditionally, and to prove to provide you with stability and security. I will do whatever I can to give us and our family the best life possible, and I cannot wait to see what the future has in store for us. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we pause before you today. As their marriage goes on, Father, I just ask that you would administer to them, lead them and guide them down the roads that they need to be on, Lord. Continually bless the marriage between these two, Lord. And Father, I ask for your truly holy blessing upon this marriage. Father, just so grateful for who you are and everything that you do, and most grateful for your Son, Jesus Christ. It is all this that I ask and pray in your Son's most precious, perfect name. Amen.
God holds marriage as a sacred union between man and woman. The union between two people and the commitment of their love to each other and spending their rest of their lives together. And the Apostle Paul gives us a true meaning of love and what and how love can hold a marriage together. And the Apostle Paul writes, above all, keep loving one another earnestly. So no matter what, continue to love. Hello, everybody. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Rachel. And I'm a friend of the bride and groom for a couple of years now. I am honored to be standing here on their wedding day. Bailey, I just want to let you know how much I admire you because you have such pride, love, and passion in everything that you do. I love who you are, even though sometimes we don't know what that is because you are your own brand of person. <laughs> but because of that, you are my best friend and I love you so much always. My name is Greg. I am best man and stepdad to Brett. Brett, we don't always see eye to eye on things, but one of the best things I instilled was dragging another person into the misery of rooting for the Browns. <laughs> Every Sunday afternoon. Brett, I love you and am very proud of the man you have become. May God bless this marriage. Congratulations, Brett and Bailey. by the power invested in me by our gracious Lord Jesus and the state of Ohio. I now pronounce you man and wife. Brett, you may kiss your bride. <laughs>